strange as all Oh, my dominate So I Feel for the side They probably Kilo crew and welcome to today's video. Today I am at the Ugly Grouper on Anna Maria Island about to take on the brand new Ugly Grouper Challenge. Now in front of me I have about $125 worth of food here that I have one hour to take down in order to earn this big amazing delicious meal for free, a groovy t-shirt and a spot up on their brand new wall of fame. So there is some insanity going on in front of me. The Ugly Grouper is this awesome hot spot and behind me I do have one of their amazing monuments the giant ugly grouper behind me this thing is crazy in front of me the main primary course that I have here is a giant two pound shrimp taco here this thing is crazy it is on like a 10 inch tortilla it's got an amazing cheese skirt loaded with shrimp filled with goodies here I do have their ugly Polynesian boat which is grouper black and grouper specifically and then filled with a risotto and then all sorts of like zucchini some squash and inside of a pineapple, obviously. Over here, I do have one of their shrimp cocktail dishes, along with their ugly sauce, which is their kind of spicy version of a cocktail sauce. Over here, I have a whole bunch of their fried green tomatoes topped with fresh crab, and then a Cajun romulade. Over here, I have four of their giant cheese logs, which I'm really pumped to eat. I just watched Randy do this challenge, and he made them look delicious. And then up here, I have their famous turtle cheesecake, which I guess is worthy of fighting over. So I'm really pumped to do that. You guys know I have a big sweet tooth. Along the way, it's not required, but I'm gonna sip on it. It's one of their signature alcoholic drinks, the Beach Babe, which has some blueberry vodka, and I know there's like cranberry juice and some other stuff. It's healthy. So yeah, I'm really excited to take this on. Again, one hour to tackle all this amazing food here at the Ugly Grouper. I will get back to you guys when the timer starts. Let's eat some delicious seafood. One, two, three, let's do it right there all right let's start with this two pound shrimp taco i don't even know how to hold this thing good golly um. What is up Kilo crew and welcome to my first ever solo seafood challenge video i hope you're not too put off by that terrifying grouper behind me that cheese skirt is beautiful i'm not much into fashion but this is one skirt i would definitely go out and spend some money on the shrimp are massive yeah, these were like some mutant Godzilla shrimp or something. You can kind of see them just nestled there in the shrimp cocktail. Look at how huge. This is like a half of one of the shrimp. Mm. You know that food is flavorful and delicious when it makes your eyes roll back just a little bit. Messiness is a sign of deliciousness and this is messy and very super delicious indeed. This taco was definitely the star of the show. That cheesy skirt really did make this dish a highlight. But never fear, if you guys want to go to this restaurant and order it for yourself, there are normal human-sized tacos there too. I think I'll be fighting a losing battle trying to wipe my face throughout this challenge, but we'll do it anyway. Try and be proper. Not too sure why I explained myself there. I think you guys are well used to me making a mess of myself. The Ugly Grouper is super popular that's behind me, the giant statue, so lots of people will be popping in and out of the shot while they take photos. Super family-friendly place, dogs, kids, whatever you want. The still shot and b-roll footage of this ugly grouper statue doesn't do it justice. It is actually super cool to go see in person and it's so darn shiny and glistening in the sunlight. It's impressive. All right, there's a little bit of juice left, but that's all gone. That was awesome. All right, next I'm going to dig in to the ugly Polynesian boat, which is a beautiful presentation. It's served in a hollowed out pineapple and I love fruit, so. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. This features some of their blackened grouper. Ooh, I just chugged the beach babe like it was juice. Woo, that's gonna feel good later. All right, let's jump right into the grouper. You would think that at almost 30 years of age, I would have learned by now not to chug hard liquor, but alas. Called ugly, tastes beautiful. 
Yeah, this thing was light, bright, delicious. It was the best of all the worlds. You had fruit, you had seafood, you had carbs. Perfect before a day at the beach. A little bit of a kick to it. A little bit of spice, but in a good way. It had a perfect spicy kick to it, which paired really nicely with the creamy risotto that I was about to get to just below. All right, then this is filled with a bunch of veggies and risotto, so I'm really excited to try that. Or risotto, I don't know. Gordon Ramsay says risotto. <laughs> Worst Gordon Ramsay impression ever. You can taste like the pineapple kind of soak into the risotto. It was awesome. Scraping out the last few bites here. Super juicy. All right, we are all done with that. Woo! That ugly Polynesian boat was amazing. Let's move on to these cheese logs. This looks much more manageable now that that giant pineapple is out of the way. Whew, all right. Cheese logs, let's try them on their own. <laughs> yeah. I really like that. Yeah. Mm. All right, we'll use some marinara. Well, that is good. I was a fat kid in heaven here. Give me cheese, deep fry it. What more could you ask for? It was creamy, delicious, the marinara was good, yum. Cheese log number three or two. Uh-oh, that beach babe was already kicking in. Couldn't even count to two at this point. Get a little cheese pulled. They've cooled down, but there's still a little bit of one. That is a telltale sign of a good mozzarella stick. If you can still get a cheese pull, even when it's cooled down a bit, you know it is good. They're using good cheese. I was just so happy here. I feel like each one of these has to be like four ounces. These things are massive. Like, yeah, these are filling. I dig it, because I dig cheese. Righteous, bro. Who even says dig anymore? But these really were cheese logs, not sticks. Final cheese log. Whew. As much as I love cheese sticks, it was a hot day out and hot, melty, fatty cheese on a hot day doesn't really complement each other too well. That was yummy. Woo! Let's eat some shrimp cocktail. I am really loving this challenge. I love my job. It was a good job. In fact, a big beach babe cheers to everyone at the Ugly Grouper. Oh, that's fresh. Woo. All right, shrimp cocktail and ugly sauce. Baller. It was such a relief to get to the shrimp cocktail dish here. They cooled me down a lot. They had that bright, fresh seafood flavor. Loved every second of it. Final scrimp. Mmm. That was good. All that separates me from some delicious cheesecake are these fried green tomatoes topped with crab. So, and Cajun Romulod. Romulod? Romulod? I don't know. <sighs> but it's fun. It's delicious. Tomato, tomato. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm eating food. It's delicious. All right. I, I'm like throwing myself off. I never wear a hat. I feel weird, but it's windy. It's sunny. I needed a hat. All right. Those are kind of big. All right. I'm pumped. Stop it. The kitchen manager is like right over there. Uh-huh. Fried green tomatoes are one of my favorite things ever, and they're not often done correctly, so this was an awesome surprise. Messy but scrumptious. They did a great job of keeping them crunchy and not mushy, which is often the problem. The Cajun sauce is definitely packing a little bit of heat, but in a good way, like the kind of heat that complements seafood or like a jerk chicken or whatever really well. Makes me feel like I want to go frolic in the ocean after this, but only in a one piece and maybe with a t-shirt on. <laughs> Nothing screams beach bod quite like a food challenge. I'm guessing you're supposed to eat these with a fork, but ain't nobody got time for that. Wow, I'm classy, but on that note, I'm gonna leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video and let you guys watch me get just a little more tipsy. Final big bite of the fried green tomato, then we'll just clean up some of the crab that's still on the plate. It's super yummy. Mm. Final bites of crab. The lettuce isn't required, but I'll probably just eat it anyway. 
nice healthy salad. The health is real. Those were amazing. On to my favorite thing in the whole wide world, dessert. Turtle cheesecake, which supposedly is worth fighting over. It's that good. I'm all about it. Make love, not war, but I mean, if cheesecake's involved, might as well throw some, throw some elbows. Sip on some beach, babe, along the way. I feel like cranberry and turtle cheesecake aren't gonna compliment each other too well, but we'll try. I'm gonna have this one hit me straight in the dome. Uh-huh, add a pepper. All right, here's another sip. Every time I take a sip, I feel like more and more of a babe. Stuff work. All right, enough talking. Cheesecake time. Ooh, soft. I'm in fat kid heaven, that is so good. Ooh, uh-oh. The wind just wiped out the cheesecake, that's okay. That is so yummy. Mmm. That is rich. I love everything about it. I love the crust on it. I love that it's topped with a pecan. Mmm. Don't tell me that. He's talking calories over there. I don't need to know how many calories are in this. There's zero calories in this. Mm hmm Diet cheesecake. Mm. Final big old bite of cheesecake, then we will down the beach babe. Cheers to y'all, Kilo Crew. Mmm. Whoo, that's yummy. Let's really leave no doubt. Let's be a fat kid. My boo thing's watching. That was delicious. I should probably sip and enjoy the beach bay, but instead I'm gonna attempt to chug it with a straw. Cheers to a delicious challenge. Thank you, Kilo Crew, for watching. Let's get foxy. <laughs> Cherry on top. Woo! Woo! 23 minutes and 27 seconds was my time to finish this delicious challenge. That was awesome. A big thank you to the Ugly Grouper. A big thank you to everyone who cheered me on. That was amazing. I'm glad I was able to polish that off rather quickly. They stopped the amazing live music uh, just for me and just for Randy to come out and eat all this amazing food for y'all. So a big thank you all for watching. In addition to getting that amazing meal for free, I do get a spot up on the wall of fame next to my boo thing. And I do get a groovy t-shirt. So you guys will see that at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, peace out, bye. Woo! Oh, that was awesome.